Hello and welcome to Astronomy for Kids with Richard Pearson. Today we're going to talk about the difference between the Earth's rotation and its orbital revolution. So there, there is a difference between them. Um, and most of the objects in our solar system spin or rotate. Uh, so it's not just the Earth. Uh, so even Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune, all of these these planets rotate, but they also revolve around the sun. For, for example, the Earth. So the Earth rotates or spins on its axis every 24 hours. That's what makes a day for us. And, and the Earth's revolution is 365 days. So that's one time around the sun to get back to the same spot. That's how we judge rotation and revolution. When you're at one position, how long does it take for you to get back to that same position? Again, for the Earth's rotation, it happens once every 24 hours when it spins on its axis. But its revolution, which is once around the sun to get back to the same spot, happens once every 365 days or once a year. Uh, so we can demonstrate this and see the difference just with our bodies. So if I am the Earth and I want to represent a rotation spinning on my axis and say my axis goes from my head all the way down to my feet, then my rotation goes like this. Boom. That is one rotation. So, now if I want to do a revolution, I need a little prop here. So here's my sun. So if I use this as my sun, tilt this down a little bit. So there's my sun. And again, if I'm the earth, then my revolution is if I is is from my spot I am at right now all the way around my sun and back to it. So simply ta-da! There's one revolution. Now, as I said before, we do know that the earth rotates at the same time that it's revolving around the sun because we have 365 of these rotations or 365 days in one year. So let's put them all together. Ready? Rotation and revolution. And if you're like me, you get very dizzy when you do that. But how fast can you rotate and revolve at the same time? Hmm? Uh, so have some fun with that. Hopefully you can see the difference between... There we go. Hopefully you can see the difference between rotate or rotation and orbital revolution. If you have any other questions, please leave them as comments. And I will try to get to them. Hope you enjoy this and subscribe to Astronomy for Kids with Richard Pearson. Thank you.